testing, testing. <clears throat> testing, testing. <clears throat> Turn that off. <laughs> So, <clears throat> hopefully we don't get a phone call or anything. All right, everybody, make sure chat is off. All right, chat is off. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. All right, everybody, for the first time we are live. Um, I do not have chat on, so don't bother trying to message me. Uh, yeah, first time live, figured why not, uh, everyone else going live. And it's not that different from what we normally do, so, and it lets us call Nick after the match and actually, uh, talk to him instead of waiting for, like, the next day or a few hours later. <clears throat> this is a good one, too. It's the halfway point in the season, week six. Uh, we are taking on Mitch. I'm a male OG, uh, coach of the Chicago Bulbas. Um, I think he's turning it around right now. Um, his last two wins are, got him feeling really good. I think he's starting to gel with his team. And it seems pretty scary um, after building for it. Or it's, it's, you know, this isn't our favorite draft team we've ever had, but it feels pretty strong, and his team matches up pretty well into it uh, with Sand. Um, so I think we found a good build, uh, Nick gave us a good building block, and we spent like two days just going over it, and just ended up coming back to the same, uh, build for the most part, like the only thing we really changed was like Terra's and a handful of moves maybe, um, I don't think we changed like any EVs or anything, so, feels like we know what we're, like we feel like we're bringing the right stuff, or at least something good. Um... But yes, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. Um, we've played Mitch. This will be the fourth time, so you know it's never felt easy. I think we've won every time. I'm pretty sure, but it's it's always tough. Mitch plays really well, and his team is always super threatening. So it never feels like a never feels easy. And this is the first of first of many tough matches ahead of us. Uh, we got a long way to go, and we really can't afford losses anymore. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, let's get into the team breakdown. Um, I'll probably say it again before the match, but definitely don't comment <laughs> expecting me to respond. I have the chat turned off, um, so can't see anyone saying anything or whatever. All right, so team breakdown. started with Luna. Um, this Almost all of these were Nick, brought to you by uh, Nikki G., um, but this one was always, this was a set we were excited about too with Ursaluna, which is Max Bedef. Um, let me get it on. Yeah, Max Bedef. Uh, well, almost Max Bedef. We're adamant with um, Max Bedef EVs or whatever. Uh, very bulky. It's supposed to be the Zapdos check, and it was funny when we first looked at it. We we're like, ah, it checks Zapdos really well, except Weather Ball. And then I remembered Bulletproof, and he is in fact immune to Weather Ball. So really, really good check for um, Zapdos. Excited. Hopefully it does work. Um, really hope it doesn't get parried. I um, think that's a little ridiculous that ground types can get parried from the static, but, you know, static's just that good of an ability, I guess. Just a uh, better gaming chair. Uh, body slam, EQ, good stabs. Uh, also, the pair is pretty good because we're not super strong this week. Um, and then the ice punch for Zapdos. Hopefully we catch it and then we can EQ on, like, a roost or something or catch the switch. And then gunk shots for Primarina. Uh, we, if we're in the sun, we can take Primarina pretty well. Um, uh, we can also take on, like, Gudra, maybe, maybe Frigoraf, I was kind of determining. It sucks, because Luna, I really want to keep it for Zapdos, but we might not have a choice, uh, just depending on how the game goes. We don't have a whole lot of checks to a lot of stuff, even though, <laughs> even though we have five guys max HP, our switching power is not, like, super strong. Uh, and Terra Water is just 
feels like a generally good Terra. Same with Mandibuzz here. <clears throat> this one is max defensive. Uh, moves felt pretty much like locked in for me this week. You turn defog roost. Foul play does like half, I believe, to... Uh, I actually have it here on uh, the scouting report. <laughs> Uh, yeah, foul play, Oko's, uh, even a max HP if he's plus two from an SD, um, so that's really cool. I think it does like half if he's not, uh, which sounds about right. <clears throat> uh, I said take our time, so we are good on time here. So yeah, foul play, that's for extra drill. We want to switch this thing pretty much instantly. We also kind of want to do that if it's um, hit pout on, just because we don't want rocks up. I was thinking that might have been something I should probably could have considered dropping on Torkoal, but we'll get there. Um, yeah, heavy duty boots and overcoat, so we're not avoiding all the stealth rock chip and the uh, the sandstorm chip. Um, I'm assuming he brings it. I'd be a little shocked, but it, he definitely could end up not bringing it. Um, yeah, so it can be good against the Furgraph too potentially. It's not great, but we really want to keep its health because. Um, we can live one rock side at plus two. We can't live a Terra Ice, though, which is super annoying because he had it last week. And I'm kind of expecting it again. <clears throat> Sorry. Kind of expecting it again, uh, which will be really annoying. And, you know, water types handle that the best, and our water type is uh, Dragon, so not not a great ice resist. So another reason to be Terra Water. Um, I don't know if we'll pop it on this one. I'd really like to get an offensive Terra going this this week. I don't know what this Terra was before, but I determined I wanted it to be electric. I don't know why. I'm probably not going to pop this one either, to be honest. Uh, but Slither, another, again, these are all pretty much all Nikki G sets. Shout out. Um, but yeah, U-Turn, Close Combat, Will-O-Wisp, Will Morning Sun. We almost put EQ on last second, but it's just another thing that Zapdos eats this thing like crazy. Um, Loki does pretty well against Mandibuzz as well. Um, really well, actually. Uh, Zapdos is a problem. <laughs> uh, Will-O-Wisp is pretty good for his physical guys. Um, Hippowdon would be really cool. Hariyama, if it's not Guts, if it is Guts, or even just has Facade, super annoying, but it is what it is. Um, could be good against Quillfish, I guess. Uh, Houndstone is pretty good. Excadrill would be amazing. Um, even Zapdos, maybe just if it's like leftovers to get the healing. But I think most of the time we want to U-turn out with Slither. And, uh, you know, keep up momentum. Because we don't have a whole lot of it this week. It also, it's just this is probably our most, like, versatile guy. We can switch on to other stuff. Um, I really want him for Hariyama though. Hari Hariyama is a big problem if you're if you're noticing the team. Uh, basically beats everybody. It's, it's easy to revenge, but it's it's still um, super annoying. Yeah, I'm really hoping we, we picked we prepped pretty hard for like his top seven guys. I'm hoping to see most of those guys um, for the most part. Uh, Torkoal, funny enough, he's actually our first switch in into Primarina. I expect a lot of fairy moves. We're pretty fairy weak. Um, three, three out of six this week are weak to fairy, which usually isn't a problem until you got a, you know, really good fairy like Primarina, <laughs> so, and we know about Primarina, we did not want to drop Prim, um, but it didn't feel smart to have it on a sun team, which is funny because we grabbed Empoleon later, but that's different, don't ask me why, it just is, uh, yeah, Shuka gives us a chance to live a ground hit, potentially give us a chance to KO like a pout on. I'm pretty sure we don't live Excadrill. Uh, maybe if he's not like plus two. I'm checking, double checking right now. But with the Shook, uh, I mean, yeah, we can live. If we haven't taken any chip, we can live one. Uh, one plus two non boosting EQ of its fucking life orb. It's gonna probably body us. Uh, we were Will-O-Wisp instead of Earth Power, but I like Earth Power to hit Moth, and just, uh, you know, one attacking move is always a little sketch for me. Um, and it at least gives us a way to, like, neutrally hit Water-type Terras or something. I, I don't know. I just, I don't like not having anything. And, you know, it hits Quillfish, too, who's kind of an annoyance for this team. Um, Torkoal might, might be one of the better guys to try to beat it, as well as, like, Luna. But, yeah, Torkoal can be really good. Uh... 
Slitherwing was supposed to be the dedicated Meow check, but I think it'll probably be Torkoal just because Play Rough. We kind of forgot about that when we first started building this week. Uh, yeah, so. Sun's not super important, but it's definitely good. It's definitely good to have it towards the end of the game for these last two guys. Um, walking Wake. This actually is supposed to be boosting Spatak, unlike last week where we wanted to be speed and then we were Spatak anyway, which. To be fair, it kind of ended up working out for us because we needed that damage to break through Empoleon, um, but it, it just kind of threw us off. It wasn't what we expected to be, and it was we were more than anything we were just disappointed in ourselves because, man, I've probably made like two or three total mistakes building wise, and I've had three this season. Yeah, I think I've had all my mistakes this season. Uh, one in week two, and then two last week. Um, I didn't even have the comfy IV last week, which is super embarrassing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're trying to stop doing that. Um, I don't even, it didn't affect the match, I don't think, um, in terms of like winning or losing, but it's just, again, it's an annoying, no, uh, annoyance thing more than anything. Um, Wake goes really strong, but he does have Prim, as we mentioned, checks the fuck out of this thing. Um, we got a flip turn like crazy. Um, oddly enough though, flip turn does do enough damage to Moth. It's like a two hit KO out of the sun. So two flip turns if he's not bulky, which... He shouldn't be. Wake is 109 and SP on 110. He should be Timid Max, I suspect, with uh, Iron Moth. I don't know what I said, but Moth is what I meant. Um, we have Draco. Not particularly fond of clicking it, but we will if we have to. And then Terra Poison is cool. Gives us another check to Prim, who, as we, if you heard us mention, we're trying to check with uh, Torkoal mostly the first time. Um, we're going to switch into, like, Sazbuck or Luna after, but it's just nice to have another way. And also... We probably should be expecting a fairy or poison move from Slither, so it's another way to live a hit. Or not Slither, fucking uh, Iron Moth. I just realized, yeah, both the Paradox uh, Volcarona guys are in this week. Okay, and the last set. Um, a little bit longer breakdown than we usually do. Choice Banded Sawsbuck. Um, this is why we grabbed him, is our speed tiers are not that great on this team. We know that. Um, Z-Jane knew it last week. Um, it's just a fact. Like, the team's speed tiers are not that good. Uh, but Sazbuck in the sun will hopefully help mitigate that. Um, I'm hoping. <laughs> Terra, uh, th this week, it's... He's the only guy that's not max HP. He's faster than Meow in the sun. Or, Scarf Meow in the sun. Uh, Double Hedge, pretty much two hit KOs. Everything, obviously, except uh, Houndstone. I think... I want to say it's a 2 hit KO into just about everybody. Um, maybe, like, a really bulky Poudon can probably take it. <clears throat> Horn Leech, uh, just, you know, healing, stab. High horsepower is good for Moth. Quillfish, who checks the heck out of this thing. Really hope we don't see Quillfish. Um, and then just good general damage, I guess. And then Zen Headbutt is for Moth and Hariyama, who's also kind of annoying to deal with this week. Um, you know, if it's a late game, Double Edge is obviously the best we can lock into, but later game, if guys are chipped, um, we should be feeling good. All right, we're like two minutes over, so let's get into this. Uh, the screen is pretty small. That's definitely going to annoy me while we're playing, but we will deal with it so everyone can see it live. We are connected, and then this should have opened up already. <clears throat> Hoo, 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 hoo. Big nerves, big nerves. Tell them we're ready to search. <clears throat> big nervous. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> Let's get it. <laughs> it says. Yep, this should be, uh, oof, I am, oh my god, I didn't register, okay, well, it's good. Shika, scarf, boots, helmet, AV, sawsbuck, bandit. banded. <sighs> big nerves, big nerves. We got nothing to lose, though. Our season's not going great overall, so let's play uh, like we got nothing to lose, I guess. Okay, so he did bring Meow. It wasn't not super shocking. I thought he could have 
we dropped it. Everyone else feels like what we expected, so that feels pretty good. Excadrill, Prim. Yeah, we knew Prim and Zap would be there. Uh, I feel like he's got a good matchup into our team. It's not uh, easy. No Hariyama's good. Who am I forgetting? Why am I always forgetting someone? Meow, Zap, Hippowdon, Moth. So, No Hariyama feels pretty good. We're leading Wake. You. Alright, Prim. We got the Torque Sawsbuck thing. Uh, we got Wake for Moth. It's like a one-time thing. We got Mandibuzz covering Excadrill and a Poudon. Zapdos. We got Luna and then Meow. We're going to have to try Slither Torque combo, I think. So that feels pretty good. Slither can also help with um, Hit Poudon, maybe. Eh, I don't want it too loud. I don't know who he's leading, but we'll figure it out. Alright, we gotta we gotta calc. That's what we gotta do. We have not been calcing a whole lot. <laughs> we eyeball way too much. Which we were getting away with it for two seasons, so I can understand why, but definitely gotta get better at calcing in game. Alright, this is actually hilarious. We did practice this lead. So for me, I think we go Torkoal. Uh, just flip turn, but I do want to see what kind of damage this Primarina puts out. <clears throat> so yeah, we always flip turn to Torque. Hopefully he does not surf. That'd be pretty wild, but he could. Or hyper voice, whatever the move is. <clears throat> I'm expecting flip turn. Whirlpool. <laughs> that is super cool tech. Jeez. Well, what we're gonna do is yawn. I think I'm gonna yawn. It seems like the most value. Dude, Whirlpool Prim is wild, Mitch. <laughs> that is actually super sick. And I wonder if he's Grip Claw. I think we want a yawn that gives us our best chance to get out of this right. Because if we Stealth Rock, and like, we're gonna take a lot from like a Surf. So yeah, let's yawn. Cover switches. Parish Song. This guy's psycho. This guy's psycho, actually. Wow. I mean, I didn't have that. You can't, I mean, this is something you really can't prep for either. I mean, that's just wild. Uh, we'll see if he gives us a chance to swap out here. We can't swap out yet. Uh, I kind of want to stealth rock. <clears throat> See what he does here. Use Whirlpool again. This is not how I expected this game to go. This is super not good for us. I mean, now he just Earth Power. There's nothing really we could do. Oh my god, he's fucking... So hopefully we can get another Yawn off here. Close, 47. This is not how I expected this game to go. Please live, Torque. Ugh, needed that. So this helps us a little bit here. I'm thinking go wake. I know Sawsbuck's good. 
But if we go awake, he doesn't... I kind of want him to feel like he has to stay in. Who wants to take awake hit? Fucking nobody. And if he stays in, he dies too to Parish Song, right? So he's for sure swapping out, or at least um, flip turning. Or no, we kind of want... We don't want him to be able to flip turn. Let's fucking swing big while we got the sun. Ah, damn, Whirlpool. That's crazy, Mitch. I love it, though. <clears throat> okay, I think we just double edge. <sighs> Sazbuck into the power down. Oh, I feel like it's coming in here. I mean, do we need to tear normal already? Maybe. If he's max defensive, it's a roll. I think we live with it. Okay, so he withdraws. God damn you. Whirlpool Parish Song. He was Lumberry. Okay, glad I actually remembered that. The double edge. Yo! Offensive. Not the static, man. That's such crap. Doesn't matter. Sun's gonna go away. We're slow as shit. Um, yeah, it was a huge fucking problem. I just realized. So here comes Meow. Free U turn. I have half a mind to stay in. No, he's gonna U turn. I keep. I can't. Like, is he gonna play rough or something? But. <sighs> I can't just. It's. What are you doing? Go Meow. Dude, no bulk zap. That's wild. We have no torque. Okay, so Luna's opened up. You can help against Prim and Moth. Yeah, this helps. This helps for Moth. Um, the sun's gone, too. We could switch Wake in here as well. Uh, but because no Zap anymore, why not Luna? You know, just do Luna, save Wake. Wake could be valuable later. And Primarina is not something we really want to let in anymore. I think that's fine. Yeah, no sun up or anything. I think that's okay. Moth came in. No boots. <clears throat> Dazzling gleam. Glad we did not go wake. We almost were going to. If, if Zabados wasn't dead, we would have considered it. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can get any info. We have to stay in in case he energy balls. But that looks like that was Dazzling Gleam. I did what, 205? Ah, 14%. That looks like it could be specs. Specs, Dazzling Gleam, um, maybe not, 17% if it's Specs, Timid Specs, okay, what do we want to do, who do we want to hit, we don't want to EQ, I don't think, I think we want to Body Slam, and hopefully we can para somebody, it's only fair, right? Para, para, so we can gunk shot. Okay, I think he's, I think he's faster than me, but he had whirlpool. We have no true switch into this anymore either. I mean, Sawsbuck's okay. Surf does forty three to fifty one. I kind of want to try to kill him. Based on that body slam, it looks like EQ should kill. <sighs> He's certainly faster, right? Yeah. Do we want to take all that damage right now? Let's go Sazbuck, I guess. I like Luna for now. <laughs> I 
kind of works for us. How low is Moth? Moth switched out. It's got to take another round of rocks if it comes in. Or we just high horsepower. Or we just double edge. I mean, double edge is going to whack everybody. But if we take chip. We got Excadrill, Hippowon. God, I think we high horsepower. I don't think it's going to kill, though. 51? Ah, it might. I'm going to high horsepower. Moonblast. Ooh, nice. Ooh, okay. That works, though. I mean, he was paired, so it's not wasn't the greatest thing to have around. The other option is Poison Wake, but I'd like to save that. So we're going to go this thing. Terra Water might not be bad. I think it's fine. The fact that he whirlpooled makes me feel like he doesn't have surf. Uh, gonna go for the EQ kill, I think, too. I mean, like, gunk shot for sure kills, but EQ should probably kill. He does have Moonblast. Question is, does he have surf? If he does have surf, it's gonna do a lot. I'm hoping he just switches out or tries to like flip turn out. <clears throat> Come on, EQ. Hmm. I mean, if he's just max HP, it does 56%. So he'd have to be pretty. Well, I should have checked max defensive on. Oof. It's a roll, probably. If he's any of these with the nature. Uh, he's faster. Oh, phew. Come on, please kill. Help us out. Nice. Okay, so he's got Meow, Hippo, Excra, Moth. This helps for Moth. We got, we still have Mandibuzz for the other two, and then hopefully, oh yeah, Sawsbuck's dead. <sighs> Wake is pretty valuable. You know, Skirata is annoying. <laughs> um, we just go Slither. Uh, I think we just go Slither here. <sighs> Let's open up the Calc. Whirlpool Prem is heat. <clears throat> you turn Protean. Waiting to see that number again. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming hippo, moth. Taking another rocks chip. 154. So about 20% with U-turn. If he's protean, I mean that looks like banded. Kind of looks like high roll banded too. Uh, so I'm willing to call that banded. <clears throat> see if he doubles or anything 
Um, this could be an opportunity to go awake as well. He did show Dazzling Gleam last time. I'm pretty nervous about that. I really don't think there's much he can do to Luna. Maybe we'll regret this, but... I kind of want to see what he can do. Energy Ball doesn't know about Bulletproof! Let's go. Okay, so that's big. Now what do we want to hit somebody with? Um, extra Drill. We don't want Meow coming in. I think we Body Slam. I mean, we could aggressively double. But I don't know how helpful that is if he, like, goes to Pout on. I think we just body slam and hope for a para. That feels like the best thing to do. Feels like the best thing to do. The other option is go hard slither. Nah, we just body slam. Okay. So he does not want anyone to take that hit. Okay, so he still has Sand and Exca. Um, Mandibuzz is super important now. I'm assuming he goes Meow here. He goes straight to Hippo. don't do enough. And then Manda Buzz is interesting. I kind of want to go Slither. This might be a misplay. I think I want to do this in case he goes Exca. Is it better to go Buzz though? Shit. Yeah, we will go Buzz. Rolling. That's okay. I actually don't mind that because he doesn't have um, whatever chip. Okay. So now I think we consider swinging. <laughs> Who wants to take this? Just meow? And I think we're okay with that. Let's see how much meow takes. <clears throat> Definitely doesn't want Draco. Uh, definitely can kill him with a Draco, 47 to 56 otherwise, and then a Pout on. Uh, Hydro Steam does more. I mean, we could flip turn this. I just want to swing, I think. 90 to 106. Nice. Big kill. He can't kill me, but I feel like he's going to tear, right? But I think that's okay, because we just need Slither for Meow, probably. It's good to have Wake. It is good to have Wake around. How much can Slither do to extra? Can we take an extra hit? Yeah. So we'll go to Mandibuzz. Scout out for a Terra. Does not Terra. 
Could have been silly then. Okay, he did tear. Oof. I forgot how that worked for a second, I guess. Terra Fairy? Terra Ice. Ooh, he did it again. Called it. <laughs> we might live this. Oh, wait, no, we always die, huh? Oh, we live. Look at that. <clears throat> he has Life Orb, too. Does that tell us? Terra Ice. Thirty-nine to forty-seven. Guys, he adamant. He might be adamant. I think we just U-turn this. Yeah. It's into Slitherwing, yeah. <clears throat> so we should be able to just CC this. Just Meow and Exca. Hopefully we live. It says we should. Five, 29%. We live everything but a play rough. Uh, if he U turns at minus one, and then there's a chance we live. See what he locks into. He should be banded. I think it's fine to just sack. Yeah. <laughs> See what he locks into. Play rough. All right, then I think we're good here. Be able to go <coughs> wake and terra poison for the dub, I believe. Terra poison with the terra blast, we have it. And I'm pretty convinced he is locked in, even if he's not. This should be an always win scenario. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm just waiting to see it happen. I don't, I'm never excited till I see the win. But it feels pretty much like the dub. Alright, we did it. Big win. I uh, needed that for our season. We still in this for now. Uh, I guess we'll do our face reveal then. Let's see. Can we just like flip this around? Is that easier? Yo. Yo. Um, yeah, good match, Mitch. Dude, OG. That Those matches are always super tough playing Mitch. Um, 
but we needed that one big time, so that was super cool. Uh, thanks for everyone that watched. Never saw this, the chat or anything, so I don't know what anyone said. Hopefully everyone was cool and had a good time. Um, yeah, really, I'm really happy with how that build turned out. Nick, uh, you nailed it, man. Uh, it was a really good build. Everything went pretty much the way we thought it would for the most part, so that was cool. All right, catch you guys next week.